I'm Dr. Nicole Farrow. I'm an interventional pain management physician and I work for the Institute for Advanced Reconstruction and I'm involved in our pudendal neuralgia program. A pudendal nerve block serves two purposes. One is diagnostic, so in the sense that when you inject medication near the pudendal nerve, if you get pain relief, even just for a short time, for just a few hours afterward from that anesthetic, that numbing medication, then that is indicative that a lot of your pain is probably coming from irritation to the pudendal nerve. The second purpose that it serves is often therapeutic. So in addition to that numbing medication, some steroid medication is injected and that is to give you some longer lasting relief because the steroid will really help calm the nerve for a longer time. The pudendal nerve blocks are typically done with some type of imaging, either CT guidance, x-ray guidance, or ultrasound guidance. The pudendal nerve block injection itself can be a little bit painful. That's why we often use something to numb the skin first. Once the skin is numb, you usually will just feel pressure from the actual needle going down and then the injectate of the solution. After a pudendal nerve block, you can expect to have some immediate relief from the anesthetic agent. So that numbing medication typically will either make you feel numb or give you some pain relief, but this will only last at most a few hours. You can expect to have a little bit of soreness from the needle poke itself. Um, the actual injectate goes into a, this small area called Alcox Canal. Um, so sometimes you might have some pressure or soreness afterward, but we ask you to take it easy for the day of the injection, um, and then the following day you can just go about your regular activities.